In tonight's lesson, we're going to continue our discussion on exponential notation. For tonight, a large part of the discussion will be about odd and even powers or exponents. So I needed to be sure you understand what a positive odd number looks like and what a positive even number looks like. So I just wrote out our first several positive odds. An odd number is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. And our even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. I just wanted to be sure you recalled what's an odd number, what's an even number. Tonight we're going to be trying to decide if a negative number is raised to an odd power, will the result be positive or negative? If a negative number is raised to an even power, will the result be positive or negative? And then if a positive number is raised to an odd or even power, will we get a positive or negative result? We started trying to think about that last night, but we're going to definitely solidify it this evening. In order to start our discussion, I'd like you to take a minute and simplify each of the following. Take our base of negative 2 and raise that base to a couple of different odd exponents. Take negative 2 to 3, negative 2 to 5, simplify, get a single value, and then I want you to try to decide if you have a negative base raised to an odd power, like a 3 or a 5, will the result be positive or negative? Pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, negative 2 to the third power simply means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. What I like to do is I like to pair up my factors here. Negative 2 times negative 2, a negative times a negative is a positive 4. Times, I still have this extra negative 2 trailing along. And 4 times negative 2, a positive times a negative is a negative. 4 times 2 is 8. So a base of negative 2 raised to the third power actually gives us a negative result, and it gives us a negative 8 as the result. Let's try it with negative 2 to the fifth. Again, I like to try to pair up pairs of negative factors, because I know a negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 2 is 4. So then I try to get another pair of negative factors because a negative times a negative is a positive 2 times 2 is 4 and then I keep seeing that I have this extra negative factor trailing along at the end. Now I have 4 times 4 is 16 times a negative 2 a positive times a negative is a negative 16 times 2 is 32. So negative 2 to the fifth power gives us negative 32 as a result, so that answer is also negative. And I just want you to notice why I pair up factors. Because I know a negative times a negative is a positive, every pair of negative factors, when I group two negative factors together and multiply, I get a positive. When I'm able to group two negative factors together and multiply, I get a positive. And the issue with odd exponents is although I nicely get pairs of negative times a negative is a positive, you're always going to have an extra negative factor running along at the end. So you're going to always, if you have a negative base raised to an odd power, the result will always be negative. Let's take a look if we have a negative base raised to an even exponent. Will that result be positive or negative? What I need for you to do is take a minute, pause the video, try these out, decide if these answers are going to be positive or negative, and then come on back. All right, hopefully you pause the video. Let's start with negative 2 to the fourth power. Again, as I discussed on the last slide, I like to pair up negative factors because I know negative times a negative is a positive 2 times 2 is 4. Then I look at this pair of negative factors. Negative times a negative is a positive 2 times 2 is 4. I no longer have any negative numbers running around. When you pair two negative factors and multiply them, you get a positive. 4 times 4 is 16. 
So negative 2 to the fourth power is actually a positive 16. And in this case, you don't have any extra factor tagging along at the end like we did when we had it raised to an odd power. Let's take a look with negative 2 to the sixth. Again, for me, I simply pair up a set of negative factors because negative times a negative is a positive, 2 times 2 is 4. I try to pair up another set of negative factors. Negative times a negative is a positive, 2 times 2 is 4, and here's one more set, another pair of negative factors. Negative times a negative is a positive, 2 times 2 is 4. As you can see now, I only have positive factors running around. So I'm going to get a positive answer. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. So I know negative 2 to the 6th power is actually a positive 64. And here's why. You, if you have it raised to an even power, you're always going to be able to do beautiful pairings of negative factors without any extra factor running along. Because your exponent, the 6, can be divided into twos. You'll have three pairs, each having a set of two negative factors. Negative times a negative is positive. Without an extra factor running around at the end, you're guaranteed to have a positive result. Four divided by two is two. So that tells me I can get two sets where I have two negative factors in each. Negative times a negative is a positive. We get rid of all negatives and we end up with positive answers. So that's just how I do it. You might work it out a different way. You might have a different way to look at why when you take a negative base raised to an even exponent, you're able to come up with a positive result and your thought process can be just as good or even better than mine. Let's take a look if we have a positive base raised to an odd exponent. Let's decide, will the result be positive or negative? Take a minute, pause the video, try it out, come on back. I'm going to tell you, as I look at these, I already say to myself, there are no negative factors running around. If we don't have any negative factors running around, our answer will have to be positive. Because here, if I look at this pair of factors, 2 times 2 is 4, positive times positive is positive, times this extra factor of 2, 4 times 2 is 8, positive times a positive is a positive. If you don't have any negative factors running around, there's no way to get a negative result. So let's take a look at this one, 2 to the 5th. 2 times 2, I'm going to look at that pair, 2 times 2 is a positive 4. 2 times 2 is a positive 4. You're going to notice now I have an extra positive factor trailing along. All I have is positive, so there's no way I'm going to get a negative answer when I'm multiplying some positives together. Positive times a positive is a positive. 4 times 4 is 16. Still times this factor of 2 trailing along. Positive times a positive is a positive. 16 times 2 is 32. If your base is positive, you're guaranteed that your result will be positive, even if the power happens to be Odd. Let's take a look. Let's take a look if we have a positive base now raised to an even exponent. And I hope already in your mind you're saying, well, there are no blanks running around, so I'm guaranteed my answer will be blank. Take a minute, pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, let's take a look at this one. 2 to the 4th power means 2 times itself 4 times. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. There are no negative factors running around. I'm guaranteed to get a positive result. Let's look at these pairings. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Again, all we have is positives running around. 4 times 4 is 16. Times 4 is... 64. So 2 to the 6th power is 64. If you have a positive base, whether or not you're dealing with an odd exponent or an even exponent, your answer will be positive. Now I'd like you to try a few on your own. Will these products be positive or negative and how do you know? So take a minute, pause the video, try them out, come on back.
All right, hopefully you pause the video. Immediately I see I have a negative base raised to an even exponent. Negative base raised to an even exponent, I'm guaranteed the result will be positive. Negative base raised to an even exponent, I am guaranteed my result will be positive. And I always think of it as pairings. If I have 12 factors, I have six pairs of factors six pairs of negative times negative, which is a positive. Let's take a look if I have a negative base, this time raised to an odd exponent, I know I'm going to get a negative answer. So if you have a negative base raised to an odd exponent, you will get a negative answer. And again, I think of it as pairings. If I'm multiplying negative 1 by itself 13 times, I know I have six pairs of negative 1 times negative 1. Negative times a negative is a positive, but I will always have that extra factor of negative 1 trailing all the way down and causing my final result to be negative. Will these products be positive or negative? Pause the video, try it out, come on back. Negative base raised to an odd exponent, 95 is odd, that will be a negative answer. Negative base raised to an even exponent, that answer will be positive. Next up, I'd like you to try to fill in the blanks about whether or not these numbers will be positive or negative. It says if n is a positive even number, then negative 55 to the nth power is, and then the next one, if n is a positive odd number, then negative 72.4 to the nth power is, pause the video, fill in those blanks, come on back. Okay, as soon as I know my exponent, n happens to be the exponent, my exponent is even. Negative base, even exponent, you're guaranteed a positive answer. Negative base, odd exponent, now my exponent is odd. Negative base of negative 72.4 to an odd exponent, I'm guaranteed my answer will be negative. These are the reflection questions I'd like you to consider for tomorrow's class. Bring them written up, ready to share. We'll pull a card. First one, when a negative number is raised to an odd power, what will be the result, positive or negative, and try to tell me why you think so. When a negative number is raised to an even power, will the sign of the result be positive or negative? Try to tell me why. When a positive number is raised to an odd power or an even power, will that result be positive or negative? And try to tell me why. Thanks so much. Try to have a good night. Take care.